Hey friends, welcome to CreativeX. My name is Brad Hussey. I'm a web designer. Now we've been making some content about AI, AI art, using AI in the web design process. And I get lots of fun comments. Some of them are like, Brad, this is amazing. And we're in the future. Some of them are like, wow, we are all going to be replaced. And that's sad. Other comments are like, I hate what you do with your hands and your face. But hey, you can't win them all. <laughs> anyway, here, today we're going to talk about Midjourney AI and a little bit of an issue that I have with how people use it to create web designs. Let's just get into it. So I think that people are using Midjourney AI and AI art all wrong when it comes to coming up with mockups. Now, look, when you type in things in Midjourney and prompts and you're imagining a website mockup, sometimes you get spot on, rock on layout ideas. And we've showed you some of those on right here on the channel, like our barbecue food truck, or more specifically our Italian luxury furniture website. It came up with a really cool layout idea. But then what I did was I just took the layout idea, used it as inspiration. You know, this is your artistic interpretation of what it looks like. I'm gonna take it from here. You know, the, pro the professional is gonna take it from here. And then I just kind of came up with a layout that I liked. Now, can we actually use Midjourney just to be like, give us an awesome layout with good UI and UX principles and rules, and then I'll just make that. I'll just code that or I'll build that. I don't think so. I don't think that that's where it's at yet. Maybe at some point, Figma is probably gonna come up with some like sweet plugin that you could just be like, give me a mock-up with like actual layers and vector graphics and make it like all nice and organized, boom, and it will generate a few different variations with actual layers using actual principles, UI, UX, design principles. But Mid Journey is just kind of like asking, in my mind, like a painter, <laughs> like, paint me a website, paint me a website. And I just don't think it works. Like, check this out. For example, I took this Figma design of the, my website that I'm redesigning right now. And, you know, like I thought, hey, I'm just gonna take this and I'm going to export it as a graphic, upload it into Mid Journey, and then have it reimagine a website for a content creator, YouTuber, web designer, sophisticated black and white typography, beautiful imagery, portraits, UI, UX. And I thought, you know what? Maybe this is gonna come up with something better than I could come up with. Let me show you what I got. Like, what is this? I was like, maybe give me a better one. And uh, it's something straight out of a horror film. Like, I don't know what's happening here. Maybe I just gave it the wrong information or or I threw in my my screenshot of my website and I thought it would do a better job, but it really didn't. Now let's just try something real quick here. I'm, I'm just gonna take my prompt and I'm gonna take the prompt and not pass in the URL of the screenshot of my current website and just see what it does. So I'm gonna say, imagine, and then, Website for a content creator, so on and so forth. Bam, mid journey, make it happen. Let's see what you got. Like, I don't know, maybe it's the prompts that I shared, but this to me, like, is not a website for a content creator, YouTuber. I think I probably gave it the wrong prompts. And maybe that's it, because I know that I've seen some really impressive results on the mid journey discovery community page, but like, this is just though they're really impressive portraits like maybe like maybe that was my problem i just fed it the wrong information quite honestly it's probably what it was but that's the case in point a lot of us don't really know what to feed mid journey in terms of prompts you know for too simple let me just say give me a website with the color blue then you don't know what you're going to get and if you're too specific like this you might have one vision in your head and you're communicating the wrong thing and then you get this like this is apparently a website for a YouTuber. <laughs> what is even a website for a YouTuber? I don't even know. So this isn't helping. Now I know I've gotten some really cool results like this pizza website for a family pizza uh, restaurant. You know, a family restaurant that sells pizza and serves pizza. Like I got four options here that could work, but then what I'm gonna end up doing anyway is taking this and going, hmm, how can I make this like coherent and look good and use this as kind of like an inspiration. Again, like I said, it's like having a painter paint you a website. It's the wrong medium. Whereas if you have like a, an actual UI and graphic and web designer opening up a design tool like Figma, 
they have the tools to actually design an actual website. Whereas if you if you walk up to a painter and you're just like, hey, I need you to paint me a mock-up, I guess they could, but it would it would be more like a painting. And so in this sense, it's more like digital art. You're asking a digital artist robot to paint you a website mock-up. It's not quite the right tool for it. It's not the right medium, but we can use it as an interpretation, as inspiration. Now I get these comments who are like, so how do I turn this into a website? It's not professional. My clients are going to be like, what the heck is this? It's not, it's not helpful. Well, you're right. If I just took this and I tried to mock this up, especially like what's happening, <laughs> what's happening here. And, and what are these faces? And honestly, is this a pizza with bananas on it? Like an orange peels? I don't know. You can't use that. But what you can do is to go like, all right, I see what you're going for, Mid Journey. Thanks for your painting. I'll take it from here. But here's where I think we can change that. Instead of being like, Mid Journey, can you just like make me a pizza website? Think about what a good restaurant website that serves pizza is. Find some inspiration. Look up some websites. Go to Dribble. Go to Shaping Design by Editor X. Look up awards.com. Look at your favorite pizza restaurants and restaurant websites and gather that. See what you like about it. And if you're like, you know what? I really like this big close up of this delicious cheesy pepperoni pizza or margarita pizza or pizza in a forno. Like, I want that image. Okay. Well, then go to Mid Journey and instead of being like, make me a pizza website with UI, UX patterns and buttons, it never does that well. Scrap that part and just look for the assets. Look for the imagery and the creative and get that. So, for example, pizza, pizza in a forno. Let's, let's dream that up. So here we have more of what I was thinking. This is more of the, of the visuals that I was going for and then I could I could jam on this. I could I could take this and I could tweak my keywords and I could try another variation. I can ask it to create variations and upscale and beta upscale and then download what I want. Like for example, like number one, look, it's got the flour, it's got the pizza, it's got the fire, the forno, the brick. It's like, that's cool. Number two, maybe a little more cartoony than I would like. Number three, same thing, a little too cartoony. Number four, that's pretty cool. Like these are great. Now again, remember, this is all about creating an asset for, let's say, a hero image on our pizza website. Okay, prompt, we're going pizza being cooked in a forno oven fire, realistic flour, and then we're gonna say AR two by three. Trying that again with three by two, but let's look at these two by three examples. Like, look at this, pretty cool. You can tell it's not a real picture. Okay, I get that. And let's say you have an actual website for a client and they happen to be a pizzeria. When you mock up the site to give them something to look at, you can use this in your presentation, create the mock-up, show them the visuals, the imagery, the style, the taste, the flavor, the je ne sais quoi. You wanna put that together, present that to them and say, look, this is kind of what I'm going for. Are you actually gonna use this image? Maybe not, unless it's the artistic interpretation you're going for. Maybe you want it to have the sense of whimsy and kind of like, you know, is this real, is it not? Maybe you want that as a part of the brand. Maybe they, maybe that's what they're going for. But if not, you're not gonna like go to the client and be like, this is the image we're gonna use. You say, this is the image that we wanna be able to capture. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring in a photographer as a part of our service. We wanna bring in a photographer. We want to book, you know, the evening there with you. And we want you cooking a pizza and we're going to get a photo session, like an actual photography session, cooking pizzas. And we're going to get some amazing dramatic shots. We want fire. We want a forno. We want flour. We want drama. It's going to be super sexy and tasty pizza. That's what we're going for. So that's what you present to your client before you just have to like write it down or like do a little crappy drawing and try and paint that image for them. But instead you can be like, look, this is what we want. We want to capture this and this is what we're going to do. So you can use it as like a preliminary stage to the actual work. Now, maybe it generates a really cool image that actually works really well and that's what they're going for. Then yes, by all means, use it. Now let's check out the, the three by two versions. Oh, 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 mama. Okay. 
Mid Journey came through for me on this one. Look at number two. Look at how amazing that is. Like it has a whole, it's a whole vibe. Actual fire, like this is looks more realistic. The pizza looks realistic. The flower, the lighting, like that could pass as real deal. So what I'm gonna do here with number four, let's create some variations on number four. So now the flower is starting to get a little bit strange. So this is where Mid Journey like kind of takes a good thing and like kind of makes it kind of weird. Now we have a pizza in the sand in a forno or in the snow in the forno. Like look at these weird peaks. Like it was good before. So I'm not actually very happy with any of those results. So what I'm going to do is go back to my number four that I liked and I'm going to upscale number four. And then once we have it, we just save that image, bring it into your design tool. Let's say Figma or you want to code it up. Okay, we'll open up your code editor. You save that image as an asset and you bring it in as your background image. So look, Mid Journey, AI, AIR, ChatGPT, all these really cool AI tools that are coming out, coming in hot. Are they gonna replace us? They're gonna replace an aspect of it. Yeah. You know, I heard, I saw a comment. Someone was like, this is like a mouse building a mouse trap. You know, it's like, are, are we creating the very thing that's gonna replace us? I'm not sure. Maybe. Or maybe we are being very forward thinking and thinking how do we utilize this to, to make our jobs even more powerful, even more valuable. So let me know what your thoughts are on AI, AI art, and uh, let me know if you have any ideas of what you want me to cover on the channel as well. As usual, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, join the Creative X crew if you want to continue the discussion on the intersection of AI art and freelancing and building a creative business. You're great. Pizza's great. We're all great. You like my new lights? Beautiful. See you in the next one. Thank you.